God bless you, warriors of God. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Greater things are yet to come. Servant of the Lord, Derek Lynn, coming once again with a moment in the word of the Lord. Holy Spirit, as I speak, I ask that in this very hour, that utterance be given to me as I make known the mysteries of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the name of God the Father, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, and the Ruba Kadosh, the Holy Ghost. I pray today in Jesus name. So shall it be my God. Holy Ghost. Thank you. I can sense my help is already here. Very quickly out of the book of first Kings chapter number 18, we read about the story where Obadiah and Elijah are now moving on what I like to call the forward advance. And then Ahab send message to have Elijah come to him. When he sees Elijah, he asks the question, are you the one who's been troubling my God, Israel? Are you the one who's been causing trouble all over the land? Elijah said, I am not the troublemaker here. Ahab. If anything, you are the troublemaker here. If anything, Ahab, it is you and that wife of yours that are making trouble in our country. Mm. Ooh. Holy Ghost, have your way today. And so the Bible says that Elijah told him, he said, look, go ahead and summon all the prophets. There are 450 prophets of Baal and there are 400 prophets of Asherah who sit at the table of Jezebel. Gather all of these prophets and meet me on my Carmel because there's going to be, I feel the Holy Ghost already, there's going to be a showdown and we are about to she who is God? My God, if Baal be God, if Asherah, my God, be God, let him, my God, rule. But if the Lord God Almighty is God, we will be able to determine who the true God is. Mm. And better yet, who are the true people of God? So as we come to this time, I feel like that we are at a turning point in America. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We are at a turning point in America. January is just about done and gone. And the party has just begun. I, I'm just going to decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Prepare yourself for a massive celebration as we come into the month of February, as we go into the month of March, April, May, June, July, August, my God, September, October, November, December, and beyond by the grace of Almighty God, we are going to see nothing else but the mighty hand of God on our country. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Because Elijah said, look, if Baal be God, if Asherah be God, y'all worship him, y'all follow him, but you, Ahab, you have turned your back on the Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, and he is now fed up with your nonsense. And as a result, he is about to be the one to, oh my God, to orchestrate the showdown. Just like when Jesus died, the Bible tells us in Colossians 2.15, that he went down into Gehenna. He went down into hell. He went down, my God, and he spoiled principalities and power. And it was he, the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who made an open show of them. He put up a show for the devil, and he is about to do a show yet again. Mm. But this time, the whole world is going to see that the God we serve, Jesus is Lord in America, the God in whom America's trust mm, is about to turn things upside down over and out on behalf of the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous in the land, on behalf of his sons and daughters in the land, on behalf of we, the American people who have put our hope, we have put our faith, we have put our trust in God. See, we don't trust in man. We don't lean onto our own understanding. By the grace of God, we have the spirit of wisdom to know that in all of our ways, we are to acknowledge God, know that he exists and he is the only God and he will give us the desires of our hearts. So I want you to take heart today. Be encouraged. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. As January comes to a complete end, prepare yourself, brace yourself for impact because the turning 
point is upon us. My God, Holy Ghost, I sense this so strong. And the showdown, God is going to give us a party that we have never had before. You think you've enjoyed a wedding reception and it was great. You think you've enjoyed a birthday party or just a banquet and it was great. Oh, but the party that God is about to give America is going to be massive. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so you know what? We just trust in the Lord. We rest in his blessed hope. Scripture says in Psalm 46, be still and know that I am God. He says, I will be exalted among the nations. That's what the Lord says. He says, I will be exalted in the earth. He says, you be still and know that I am God because I am your devout. I am I share I share I am the I am that I am and when I speak mm, mountain shake when I speak mm, the earths open up and it does exactly what I tell it to do God is God and we are his people and he hears the prayers of God my God, the righteous in the land. We have come too far and we're not going to give up. So prepare yourself for impact. Prepare yourself for the turning point. Mm -hmm. I feel this so strongly. Prepare yourself for what God is going to do. Because when he does it this time, it's going to be nobody but God. So we are going to stand on Mount Carmel and we are going to see the showdown of the prophets. Who are the true prophets of God? And who are the prophets of Baal and Asherah? And the God, we're going to call on our God. Let them call on their God. But guess what? As Elijah did, the God who answers by fire, he will be God. Because they started to do all kinds of foolish things, cutting themselves calling out to their God. Elijah mocked them. He says, maybe your God is asleep. Maybe he's having a snack. Maybe he's taking a nap. Who knows where he is? Scream out louder. Call on him. Maybe he's going to come to your aid. But you know what? We stand still and we will see the salvation of the Lord this day by the grace of God. If we faint not, let us pray. Holy Spirit, thank you today for revelation. Thank you for insight as we prepare for a brand new week. We thank you, Lord God, that this word is going to encourage us as we brace ourselves for impact and we prepare for the turning point that is upon us. Because those are the words that I hear you speaking even now. In the name of God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and the Ruach Kadosh, the Holy Ghost, I speak and I pray today in Jesus' name. Lord, bless the ones who are watching this now. Bless the ones who are going to watch this later, Father God. May they be of good change be of good courage and know that you will strengthen our hearts today. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Until the next time warriors of God have a blessed week and know that no devil in hell has permission to touch you because Jesus has marked you with his precious blood. Until then take care. Bye bye.